This graph represents the miles per gallon associated with a certain hybrid vehicle, I guess. I don't know if these are real or not. I'm not very well versed in hybrid vehicles or vehicles in general. Uh, but it does ask which vehicle gets the least miles per gallon. Well, how would we identify that? I suppose it didn't really tell. Yeah, the graph, for sure. Right? <laughs> Uh, it didn't really tell us, but this would be the miles per gallon right here. That's a horrible G because I'm riding sideways. That is correct, yes. This one has the lowest number of miles per gallon. So, I mean, that's still really good miles per gallon, right? Just in comparison, maybe it's not. I don't know. Which vehicle gets the least miles per gallon? There we go. Well, maybe once a month, right? <laughs> uh, Toyota RAV4. Is everyone okay on that one? All right, predict what would be the mileage per gallon associated with vehicle hybrid U. I don't know what that is, but whatever. So if hybrid U is between this, is that Tesla yeah, model they S? Tesla, wrong. Te Tesla, yeah, sorry. No, they spelled it wrong. It, Spelling is hard sometimes. And then a Mercedes-Benz B-Class. Again, I'm not familiar with any of these, but if we had to predict this, I mean, what value would you guys? 32 miles per gallon? 100? I'd say 90. 90? I'd say 92. Not 92, but you know what I'm saying. Why would you say 90? Yeah, Why? That's excellent. That is excellent. Now here's the thing is, uh, about this problem is it doesn't have to be like right in the middle. So if you, just, if you just said, well, I know it's between 95 and 84, 85, bam, you're good. That's good. Does that make sense? Because we're just predicting. I, I, I assume there's no such thing as a hybrid U. Whatever. <laughs>